Hi, I'm uh, Arco Lucia. I'm a uh, senior lecturer in the School of Geography and Environmental Studies. Uh, this thing next to me is uh, called the Octocopter. And um, we're essentially uh, using it for aerial photography. Um, it's our own mini satellite. Um, we use it to replace satellite imagery. Uh, we can get very, very high resolution imagery. So the Octocopter has eight propellers, so these are little electric motors. Its brain is here in the middle. Um, it powers the electric motors. There's a GPS sensor on board. Um, it can fly by itself, so you can pre-program a uh, flight path with GPS waypoints and it will fly to, uh, to those waypoints by itself. Um, what you see here is just a, a standard digital SLR camera. Uh, on a uh, on a tray, so we can we can change the position of the camera, and when the octocopter is flying around, this camera tray tries to keep stable. Um, so we use that camera to um, to take aerial photographs, and then we have a few other sensors like a thermal sensor to take uh, temperature images, um, and a multispectral sensor to take images outside the visible range, so images that, um, um, that we wouldn't be able to see with our own eyes. So we use it in Antarctica to uh, look at moss beds and the health of moss beds. Uh, we use it here in Tasmania to look at uh, vineyards, to see how healthy the vines are. Uh, we've been flying in close to Huonville. There's a, a landslide there that we try to, uh, to monitor and see how the, the landslide is changing. Um, we look at coastal erosion as well, so you've, uh, you've probably seen the, the erosion at Lauderdale on the news last weekend after the big storm. So the coastline is changing and, uh, and the, uh, the coast is eroding there. And an octocopter like this is ideal to fly over the area and get a, uh, an aerial photograph of the coastline and see how it's, uh, how it's eroding away. So lots of things that we can use it, use it for.